Here we have the uh, configuration on the step. We create a VLAN on the interface S1, S2, and AC, and configure the HCP server to assign IP address to AP and SDA. Configure uh, VLAN 100 on AC to assign IP address to AP. First step is to configure the DHCP uh, on our AC using the command DHCP enable to enable the service. Then we go into the interface 100 and configure the management IP, which is 10.23.100.124. And uh, we also configure the DHCP select interface. This is for assigning IP address to the AP. Uh, then we configure the VLAN 101 on S2. So this is the S2 here. Now the configuration between uh, Gig001 and Gig002, this uh, interface must be trunk and interface on Gig001 to the AP, uh, guess what? So what you think that this interface is? Because we have the uh, management VLAN, so this interface is an SS uh, VLAN and the VLAN is uh, VLAN 100. We can configure the trunk port in the gig 001 and gig 002 and gig 001 here we configure as an SS VLAN 100. So on S2, we also configure the DHCP enable, but this time we configure DHCP enable on S2 is to enable the station to get the IP address. So we do a uh, interface uh, VLAN 101. Remember that uh, 101 is our data and uh, 100 this part here this is our management and the IP address for the S2 is 10.23.101.1 uh, slash 24 and we are using DHCP select interface. So there are two ways for you to configure the DHCP. Either you do a global or you can do an interface. Let's look into the configuration on my ENSP. So this is an ENSP that I pre-configured and then this is my AC. The configuration for us is to go to the AC to enable the DHCP. Definitely in the AC, we are going to create two VLAN, VLAN 100 to uh, 101. We configure interface VLAN 100 with the IP address of 10.23.100.1 slash 24. And we also configure the DHCP uh, select interface. We need to exclude the IP address here, dot two and uh, dot three because we are going to assign this IP address for our uh, access point. Okay, so let's go into the AC. Okay, so in AC, we are going to look into the configuration. So the first configuration which I already typed here is the DHCP enable. Let me show you the current configuration. So this is the DHCP enable that I configured. Then we have the uh, VLAN uh, batch to create the VLAN. So this is the configuration. We go into the interface VLAN 100. So this is the interface VLAN 100. We configure the IP address as in uh, 10.23.100.1 slash 24. Then we configure the DHCP select interface. We also exclude the IP address on uh, using 100.2 and 100.3. So this is the first step on the AC. Then on the S2, you can see that the S2, this is the S2. Let me go to the S2. So the S2 also need to configure VLAN 100 and 101. So I already configured the uh, VLAN 100 and 101. We configure the DHCP, the configuration on the interface, as you can see from here. I have the IP address on 100, which is 100.2. This is the reason I do uh, exclusion on the DHCP and I have a VLAN 101 here. 101 is for our data VLAN and as you can see that I do a DHCP select interface and this uh, DHCP service is to enable the IP address on our STA. I also want to show you here the configuration on the gig 01. This is the part here. We are configured as a trunk and we allow VLAN 100 and 101 to pass through. Same go for uh, gig 002. So gig 002 is connect to the AC and gig 001 is connect to the uh, switch number one. So it's pretty easy. And gig 003 is an SS VLAN. That is for the gig 003. And the rest are uh, empty. So I also have a default route going to the internet. Let me show you on the switch number one here. 
So the switch number one is also pretty simple. Uh, again, we have to create two VLAN. We configure our interface on the gig 2 You can see it's a trunk and facing to the AP, we configure as an SS VLAN, VLAN 100. That is our management VLAN to create the cat web tunnel. And you can see that the rest are empty. So this is an SS switch and this is our aggregation switch. Okay, so let's jump back to our PowerPoint. So this is our first step. I already show you how you can configure that. Next, we configure the AP to go online. So in the AC, we are going to go to WLAN view. In WLAN view, we are going to create an AP group. Uh, the command for you to do that is called AP dash group with the name AP group one and quit. Once you create the AP group, then you have to go into uh, configure the regulatory domain profile. And if you type enter, the default is a CN. And uh, then we have to go into uh, AP group name. So under the same AP group name, after we create the profile, we attach this uh, regulatory domain name into the AP group one. Remember that this is my template a AP group name, AP one. And please remember that by changing the regulatory, the radio will be reset. Okay, so they warn you. Okay, so this is the second step here. We are going back into uh, creating the AP group. Let's just look into the AP group now. So I go back into the AC. So this is my AC. And here, this is the command that I configure. Okay, so I do the AP group name. I create a regulatory domain profile name called Malaysia. And the country code is called NY. I bind the regulatory domain profile Malaysia into the group. Okay, this is what I did. So I'll uh, just show you. So this is my group name, AP group name, AP group one, regulatory domain profiles called Malaysia. And I bind this profile into the AP group one. Okay, so this is on uh, this slide. Continue from there. So we have to configure the cat web source interface. So our source interface is a uh, interface VLAN 100. Okay, so instead of using IP, we are using uh, interface VLAN. Then inside the WLAN, we can configure the AP authentication mode, MAC authentication. So we are using a MAC authentication instead of a sequence number authentication. So the AP ID is zero, AP MAC is this MAC address. So in this case, I need to identify what's the MAC address of the AP. So you need to go to the AP to check the MAC address. Or if let's say uh, you have access to the AP, you can see that there's a sticker on the AP and you can just copy this MAC address and configure that on your AC. So we use a command called AP name area underscore one. And uh, this one will reset the AP. You click on yes. So on the AP dash group one, we are going to attach this to AP name area underscore one. Okay, let's look into our configuration here. So let me go into the AP. So this is my AP. As you can see that the AP have this uh, MAC address. Four digit behind is 4FB0. So I just copy this. And as you can see that in my configuration, I have my AP, IP, AP-ID1, AP Mac 00, E0, FC, D7, 4FB0. Okay, so I pre-configured the AP in my AC. Now this configuration is under WLAN. So once you type the WLAN, so let me go back into the WLAN. As you can see from here, I have my MAC address is being typed here. Okay, this is my MAC address and this is the AP sequence number. And this is my group name. Okay, so all this is under the WLAN configuration. So I'm under the WLAN view here. You can see here that I have a uh, cat web here. Cat web source interface is a VLAN interface uh, 100. All right, so this is the configuration. Next, how to verify the AP onboarding uh, configuration. Because I have already configured, so you can actually use this command called display AP all. And I can able to see my MAC address, the area, the AP group, and the IP address. You also can see that the type and the state is no, no means that it's a normal, 
and that's the uptime. So let me go back and AC. Let me quit from here. Display APO. Okay, so you can see here I have my AP here. That's my station, the name, AP group, group one, the IP address on the AP, which is 149, and this is the uptime. So you can see that the station is zero. That's the ID number one. So I have a total of one because in this diagram I only have one AP. Next, we look into configuration of a WLAN service parameter. This is very important. So here we create a profile called WLAN net. So the profile is using a command called security profile name, WLAN net. Here we configure our security, WPA, WPA2, PSK, passphrase, and followed by the uh, password with the encryption AES. Second, we have to create the SSID. And the SSID is also called WLAN-NET. So the command for you to do that is SSID profile name, then followed by the SSID WLAN-NET and quit. So let's look into our configuration. So this is where we configure our SSID. So under the WLAN, we create our security profile name called WLAN-NET, security WPA, dash WPA2, PSK, passphrase, one two three four five six seven AES and we create the SSID profile and the name is called WLAN. So I did it in this configuration. Here you go. You can see here I have my security profile and this is my my key. Once you type in, you can see that it's encrypted for you. And this is my SSID profile name. So you just follow the uh, configuration on this uh, video you should be able to construct a workable uh, AP. All right, so let's continue here. Next, we have to configure our VAP. Just now what you configure, it's just a security profile. So here we create a VAP profile and uh, the name of this VAP is called WLAN NET again. We are using forward mode tunnel and the service VLAN ID is 101. The security profile is WLAN, the SSID, is also WLAN-NET. Remember that this is what we create uh, just now on step number two. And uh, step number four, we create, we already create a group called AP group. So we just go back to the AP group one. Then we type the VAP profile WLAN, WLAN one with radio zero and radio one. Okay, and step number, then we look into the VAP profiles. So let me come back into the configuration here. So the VAP profile is here. This is the VAP profile. So we use a tunnel mode. We have our service VLAN 101 that we uh, configure here. The SSID is called WLAN-NET and the security profile that we create uh, on here. You can see here is called security profile. We tied it into this VAP. Okay, so in the VAP, we have to define these few parameters. Okay, all these parameters we need to define and just want to show you this is where we have to define our VAP. So our VAP is called WLAN, tunnel mode, service VLAN is 101, the SSID profile is WLAN-NET and security profile is called uh, WLAN-NET as well. So let's do a display VAP. We are going to look for all. So if you use this command, you're able to see that currently I have my AP, my BSS ID, and the authentication. Okay, so my authentication is using WPA, WPA2, PSK, and this is my SSID called WLAN-NET. Okay, so my VAP is running here. So let's just check if let's say this is working or not. So what I need to do here is on the STA, as you can see that uh, I have WLAN-NET and I have two uh, WLAN because I'm using two radio. I'm using the radio zero and radio one. You can see that I'm using the radio on both sides. So I'm going to connect to one of it. This is the one here and the password is called A1234567, right? So let me connect to this. So they ask for the password A1234567. I click OK. Okay, so as you can see that now, you can see that it's get connected. Right, so you can see that I have the IP address and I'm going to do a ping to the loopback, uh, assuming that this is my internet. 
So as you can see that now, uh, it's working. All right, and uh, at the same time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture the packet. So I'm going to redo the ping one more time on the SDA. I'm actually capturing on the access port here. You should be able to see that the uh, because this is a tunnel mode, you should be able to see the cat web. Okay, so there you go. So this is our ICMP. All right. And uh, you can see that under the header, layer 2, this is a layer 2 I, uh, header. Then we have the IP address. Then we have a user data gram. This is our cat web. So as you can see, this is the control and provisioning of wireless access point. So the cat web. Inside the cat web, we have another Ethernet 2 header. And uh, we have a 802.1Q. That's our VLAN 101. And inside here, I have IPv4. And inside here, I have a ping. So this is to demonstrate to you that we are using a tunnel mode. If it's not, you won't able to see there are two MAC address over here. This is to show you how the cat web actually work. And uh, I'll also show you that how the user data gram is inside the cat web. Okay. So I just demonstrated to you on how you can configure the entire topology uh, using the ENSP.